special optimism fractal to discuss about Ordao and OREC. So hello, Tadas, about you. Hello, Patrick. Nice to be here. Long time since we did this. Happy to see you again. I want to dive into the optimism fractal component that we have. We have already covered the ADS protocol with Jacob Omanix for this optimism fractal special interview. And today we will focus with Tadas on the Ordao and the OREC. OREC is a subcomponent of Ordao. I put it separately, but it's a, it's a component. So first, maybe on the Ordao, an overview, Tadas, in a nutshell, what is Ordao? Fractals and other kind of on-chain communities, DAOs, uh, we have a need to execute on-chain transactions as a community, as a group. And uh, if fractals, for example, need to distribute respect uh, based on respect game meetings uh, as a group. So, uh, and currently on Optimism Fractal, the community that I'm contributing to on Optimism, uh, the way we are doing it, the way we are distributing respect, it's very manual and requires knowledge and, and yeah, it's hard to do. It requires an administrator to, to, to do this manual. And uh, it's not very decentralized. And so or DAO is one of the main motivations is solve this problem. Uh, meanwhile, solving a couple of other problems like how respect is displayed and uh, NFT explorers and block explorers. And yeah, but the main uh, main problem that our DAO is solving is uh, how community executes transactions as a group. Like it's a standalone app uh, and I propose that Optimism Fractal like uh, migrates and starts to using upgrades to this new app. Uh, but this new app could be deployed for uh, for other communities as well. Ordao is just a code name for the next version of Optimism Fractal that that Tadas is proposing. Other fractals, any other indeed org. Uh, may be interested in using it if they want to have an on-chain presence on Ethereum virtual machines, so EVM right now, and they are okay with lack of a user-friendly graphic user interface with all the features. But it is best that we have for Fractal right now, but that may change soon. It's best that we have for Fractals on EVM right now. In one year or so, or maybe even sooner, yeah, we will have a new version and we will forget about Ordao because we don't like the name as always. That's just uh, acronyms and uh, let's say uh, code names. Uh, we need code names for sure for the GitHub, for uh, our source code. But then when it's come about marketing, it's maybe not the best uh, name. But by the way, I love the name. It's uh, very well made. That's mean optimism, base, respect. DAO, so or DAO. Um, and the essence of this or DAO indeed is the OREC that should be a component into my mind map of or DAO. I put it separately. And OREC solves one the key technical problem of optimism fractal right now. And this is what it is more likely to stay relevant over the time. Everything else under or DAO is just a tooling to make OREC usable for developer and user. And you are not collecting any data from what user publish publicly. Uh, relationship with Optimism mainnet is that Ordao is currently deployed on the Optimism mainnet. It could be deployed to other EVM networks in the future. And the relationship with the Block Scout and OpenSea is that they index and display information published on Optimism mainnet. So they ends up showing state of Ordao contracts. So link to the overview of the GitHub, uh, it's into the link description for sure. It's fractal apps, fraps, fractal apps into SIM31, the, the GitHub of Tadas. And that's very well made. All is described very in detail about the features, the ownership of the contract, the semi-automated distribution of the respect, uh, no need for hard rules about how many submission from the breakout room is needed, et cetera, et cetera. The implementation, 
and the OR console that is currently the way to interact with OR DAO. And soon, I, I think that as you will, you will create a, indeed a, a UI, correct, for uh, OR DAO? Uh, I don't know. Currently, I'm not creating it. Maybe someone else in community will step up. Uh, but uh, the reason I'm not like uh, I'm not promising to create it is because there are other uh, people in community who are creating frontends for 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 fractal, and it's a viable and likely option to to integrate interactions with our DAO into those frontends. Yeah. So currently, when we are submitting uh, our breakout room respects uh, breakout room results from respect game on chain when we are submitting we see ethereum addresses which are not human readable and uh, yeah and it would uh, become much less error prone and much more user friendly to see names names so that users interact with, with names all the way throughout the workflow and yeah for that we need uh, some kind of naming system some some people already have vns names which make it a bit uh, easier but i think uh, it should name its uh, participants as well so in a sense it should have a, a naming system I'm, I'm not sure if naming system is correct uh, term here but it should have a basically name name database for each of its users one of the products that Fractal could uh, give. So currently to have a name in Ethereum, you have to buy it typically. Fractal could uh, could integrate with ENS and assign names under say domain optimism Fractal under that domain, they could assign names to accounts for contributors. Uh, and so that would be a way for people to get a name without paying, uh, but by earning it through contributions. Abraham is uh, currently uh, working on that. If I am not wrong, yeah, yeah, uh, to to add this uh, UI for that, correct? Yeah. Yes, he is working in that direction currently. Here, uh, people play a respect game where we rank each other on Fractalgram, and they submit results through the app. The meeting number, the group number is the room. For example, room one. And then level six, it's an hexadecimal public address Ethereum of the person that is level six until level one. Then you submit and that goes on optimism mainnet. Uh, the difference, so or, or DAO gives the same interface currently for the user. Uh, the difference is that on the backend, uh, and in general, on the smart contract side, the distribution of respect after these results happens more automatically. Okay, so that is the new uh, interface for Ordao, correct? That's the new UI for Ordao. Yes. Okay, okay. Going on EVM and on Optimism Layer 2, that is a layer two for Ethereum. Uh, there are other layer twos like Base, for example. But all the code that you have built is compatible EVM-based chain, so that's could cool run on any EVM-based chain. So that's the beauty. Yeah. Yes. So, so that is the that is the part to submit the the rank, the submission form. And there is an another uh, thing that you have built. That's the or console. Yes. So basically the previous front end that you just saw has only one functionality that is to submit breakout room results. But at the, at the smart contract level and at the backend level, there is much more features currently that uh, Ordao supports and specifically it supports uh, proposals and uh, proposals to execute uh, uh, all kinds of other transactions, basically any kind of transactions of, on Ethereum. So, uh, using our DAO community can uh, uh, can go through a process to decide what to ex execute on chain. And yeah, but currently there is no fr fully developed front end for that. And 
uh, uh, this console app that you're seeing right now is uh, is a uh, basically uh, app that uh, allows you to interact with all the DAO functions in the meantime until uh, those features appear in the graphical user frontend. And in addition, it provides documentation and uh, and uh, help for for developers to to build that front end to, to interact with or DAO. We want to execute a method of a class. Just uh, go on a class, and we have the method. For example, we want to know our balance. So get get old respect of explanation of the method now to execute the method just go into the console so to go into the console on uh, chrome for example more tools developer tools okay so i clear the the console and i just write into the console the method so for example await and the method and my address, public address, Ethereum. I am connected with uh, MetaMask here. MetaMask, so I have get my address. So do enter. And I see that I have no respect hold because I just begun with uh, Optimism Fractal. I am not holding any respect for the moment. So, but on the course of the next uh, sessions of Optimism, I will receive some respect and I will be able to interact here with the ORDAO. And that's the command line that you have uh, developed to interact with before to have a, a UI that someone built a, build a UI. But uh, at least we have the all the, um, the class with the methods in it. So that's very easy to interact. Uh, and if you want to know all the, the, the methods, there is also the command help and we receive uh, all the available method, but all the available method are explained here into this uh, very well made uh, index. So very well, Tadas, thank you for that. Earlier, one of the main problems that Ordao tries to solve is how to execute transactions uh, as a group by at DAO. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Oric is uh, the component that actually gets that done at the smart contract level and it's the core describes the core mechanism that determines which proposals to execute transactions get passed and which get rejected yeah, and the, the innovation here i would say is that it uh, uses a time delay between uh between voting and execution of transaction during which uh, uh, only negative votes are accepted uh, and this introduces some a security feature which enables uh, respect holders to block proposals uh, to execute transactions which uh, was not were not agreed upon earlier. Uh, because I assume here that uh, DAO the fractal will have a, a process through which we come to consensus about what to to do and what transactions to execute, and OREC is the last part of that process. Yeah, here we have a good rationale uh, about OREC. What is the motivation behind uh, OREC? What is the usual, uh, there are usually a big category of participants. We are not proactive uh, gov in governance decision, but are aware and will be able to react in, in case of contentious proposal being passed. So all is very well break down here from where we are coming from with this OREC and also some spam prevention. So all is into this link here on the mechanism. And there is also a nice uh, life cycle state transition uh, of the OREC, the life cycle of a, pro of a proposal, how it's work, exactly the steps. So all very well described here. We have not to go too much into the detail, but you have all the link on that. And uh, yeah, basically that's uh, what uh, Tadas is uh, uh, building.
we are testing it, testing it on the mainnet, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, if it go if it goes well, uh, uh, I expect that a uh, proposal will be made to to adopt this app, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, it, I think it will be a good uh, step forward. Uh, long way to go to where we want to be with fractal interfaces, but it's a step forward uh, that could help us get there. Once it is adopted by Optimism Fractal, there is chance that other organizations can also use these uh, um, mechanisms, we can say. Yes. Actually, we could start playing around with it right now. So if we want, we can contact me. You can find me in Optimism Fractal Discord channel or Eden Fractal Telegram channel. Uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. We will cover more. And I encourage the people to join the Optimism Fractal calls that are on the Thursday at 1700 UTC. Uh, that's the Optimism Fractal. There are also B, um, every two weeks, the, the Eden Fractals at um, 16 uh, UTC, 1600 UTC, where Tadas is there also. You are a long time uh, member of uh, Eden Fractal Optimism. And uh, I am very happy to have you today to, to cover something that is uh, very interesting and complex, not complicated, but complex. We have to, to dive in. And I hope uh, for the audience, you have already some uh, um, key elements to, to go through because you will have the mind map, the fractal data collector that will be always updated. And uh, you have the links into the video description. So that's very easy to go into the GitHub of Tadas. He has built this GitHub very well structured. And uh, it's easy then to map out into the, the mind map. And there are also some great documentation by, by Dan Sinjoy. Shout out for that. So uh, thank you very much, Tadas. I know you are very busy. And uh, we will see us for sure into the optimism fractal. That's what I'm doing with for now right now. It, it all followed from Albedo, and there's actually a connection with Albedo. Uh, but it's another topic I'm not prepared to talk about it right now. And I just also want to shout out other great developers like uh, Vlad and uh, Abraham and Optimism Fractal. We are also developing apps that could help Optimism Fractal and many other fractals. And in fact, in fact, it's not uh, given that uh, my uh, app will get uh, approved as the next version of Optimism Fractal. It might be that uh, Vlad's or Abraham's get gets used next next season. And uh, to be to be fair, I think that's great. Like yes, uh, as, as a season ago, we we were stuck. No, nobody was developing any apps, and now we have all of this inno innovation and. I think this is what is needed. Healthy competition. Uh, we can really feel healthy, healthy competition between me and that. And I think uh, that's for the best. And one other thing I, I talked about in the past, where I talk about upgrade path uh, and uh, how fractals could uh, switch implementations from season to season. And that would enable fractals to basically uh, like uh, cultivate healthy competition by using some of uh, both uh, yes. software. I, I remember that I was reading this article. Maybe you will drop for me a link and I will include into the video description for sure. Yeah, shout out to Vlad. I will have uh, an interview with him about the Fractal text base app. Uh, shout out to Jacobo Manix also with the ads protocol. Uh, I love it. And I enjoy to have you again in uh, next uh, videos to dive as always into your uh, beautiful work. And uh, I am personally very interested with what you are building. And I see a lot of uh, potential uh, links between the things, uh, not at the point we could link the, the things, but we need first to, to build the things for what they are. And then the, the, the collaboration, the links will, will come. I agree totally with you. Thank you very much Tadas for your time. That's a pleasure. And we will finish on at 3210 on maybe Go, Orec, and Ordao. What you think? Go Orec, go Ordao, go Optimism Fractal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So three, 
two, one, zero, go or go down. Or, uh, or down. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tadas, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. See you. See you.